Welcome back. On this episode of Chasing Limits, we turn an unused room in our house into a beautiful playroom with these built-ins, all from Lowe's, Home Depot, and Amazon. We're going to be turning this room here into my girl's game room. So we went to uh, Lowe's and we picked up some pretty nice little shaker cabinets. going to look like that. And I'm thinking we get those going across here. It should be about an inch on each side. I can frame that out. Um, the plan is butcher block top. And then eventually do cabinets up to the ceiling. I'm thinking that the floor isn't straight. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to shim it. It seems like as I get closer to like the walls, it's bowing or something. That's great. It's a uh, coffee of the red, red variety. Like a glove. Okay, what I'm gonna do is find the center of the wall, and that's where I'm gonna put that perfectly center. That way, I can that and hopefully get away from that little something or other that is making that one all Elton Johnny. I am, oh, perfect. I'm gonna go back and take off that quarter round and probably the uh, <clears throat> baseboard. Make sure I get it tied up against the wall. So I do want as much room out here as I can. Man, it's gonna be a lot. And I think it's on now. Okay. So I'm gonna mark this wall because I've already got it pretty perfectly centered. Now I know where that goes. You can use the pin. Now I'm trapped myself in here. That's great. Okay, quarter round is out. I'm going to take that same little wedge that I had there and I'm just going to uh, kind of scrape that off and then I'll work on getting the uh, baseboard off. Baseboard. Baseboard out. And now I have a nice flat place that I can bump these uh, cabinets up to. And they should fit nice and flush. I do think I'm going to mark in here where my power is and cut a hole in the back of these things because I just don't want to be guessing about that. So I can at least, you know, maybe run power up to the shelves or whatever it is. So next thing, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, get these pushed up right in here. It's like a low spot on the floor. So I'm gonna cut like some very tiny shims. I mean, super thin. I think actually might have some shim material and I'm gonna slide it up underneath that just to get those squared up and, and perfect. I think that gap will go away once I shim this side, so that'll bring that up and make this kind of, you know, up like that. That one's pretty good. And I think those, I might have to do the same thing over here, but I'll double check. So yeah, we're uh, making it, getting somewhere. Okay. That's kind of what it's going to look like. What? Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Now I gotta get it off and get these attached to the wall.
I want the edge that came from the factory to be butting up to the other one because it's just going to probably look better. And then this side will be up against the wall because that's going to get caulked, the side that I cut. So I think I've got that figured out. 49 and 3 quarter in the front. 49 and a half in the back. Let's see, but the way that's going to work. Okay, so double check my measurements. 49 and a half at the back. Check. 49 and 3 quarter at the front. Check. Just ensure you get a straight edge. See that? Now you got a line to cut. Okay, one last check. Make sure uh, I'm not going to cut my truck bed, which I'm not. Measure one more time. Forty-nine and a half. Forty-nine and three quarter. Forty-nine and five eighths. Which I also checked that measurement. I've got my saw set to the right depth. Just barely ripping through. I think I'm actually going to go a bit more towards the middle of this thing. Balance it a little bit better. And let's let it rip. Cut it fat. What's up? What are you building? Uh, the girls' game room. Lunch for the girls already? No. <laughs> we got uh, got to get a little playroom going in that front office. Uh, Moving the truth. real close. Kind of just Well, that's not what I wanted. Kinda like that. Man. Honey. <laughs> My goodness gracious. You know, nothing can ever just be Easy. <clears throat> Wipe on polyurethane. Put a little bit of this in here. Alright. And try not to get it everywhere because it is uh, sticky. A nice clean rag. I'll just start at one end and just kind of put a nice little light coat on. If you do get it on 
And as I'm using it, it's already starting to kind of tack up on my fingers. I would probably recommend uh, a pair of gloves. But you know what? I didn't have any. And I'm lazy. Hold on here, nice. Look at that, it's beautiful. That's looking good. This is satin, so it really shouldn't give it like a shine. I don't want something super shiny. Well, my shelving came in. We're going with this right here. I've got five of these. And I've already got the first one up and assembled. And this makes it super easy. Obviously, there's more shelves that go in there. We're going to have five that go straight across. I'm going to show you all how to put these together, which is very simple. And then luckily, I got, I mean, if you look up there, it's like perfect to how close it is to the ceiling. We're going to leave that open. And then we'll put them all together and uh, caulk them and then probably finish them out to make them look even more professional and, and built in. So y'all follow along.
Whoa. It's a little tight. Last one. <laughs> Sticker. Got all my trim pieces cut and I'm going to put a coat of paint on these before I bring them in. They're all gonna be pretty close to size. I mean, enough to where I can finish it out with a, with caulk and finish it in there. But I wanna get, these are pre-primed. I'm gonna get a coat of paint on them real quick. And then I'll bring y'all inside and we'll uh, frame this whole thing out and make it a little more professional and just bring the whole thing together, honestly. Mm -hmm. So, so far, we're looking really good. We've got uh, all my trim put up. I used this little finish nailer. Got it all put up. Y'all saw that. Now, I'm going to use plastic wood, wood filler. Um, this is going to fill all the little holes that I made from the finish nailer. Remember, gaps. We're going to use caulk. Little holes, wood filler. I just got a little putty knife. That's the name of it. I've been, I've been thinking, I've been calling it a spatula, a scraper. It's a putty knife. Okay, got my putty knife, and I'm just going to go over and fill all my little holes. I'll probably time lapse it for you, but, uh, and then I'm going to get the caulk gun, and I'm going to caulk all my gaps. messed up my audio in my last video so I'm gonna have to go back just have to imagine that there's all those little spots up there because I did go ahead and I put uh, three coats of paint on here after I obviously taped everything off all around and uh, it turned out really really nice I know the wife is gonna be happy as you can see she's already put a whole bunch of stuff in here before I even started or got to finish painting the whole thing but um, yeah, very fun build and really easy. Just a couple of days, uh, maybe two weekends. Got these from Lowe's. The bookshelves were from Amazon, trim from Home Depot, a little bit of paint, a little bit of time. And uh, I know my girls are gonna like it eventually. They're tiny right now, but a um, bunch, of, bunch of storage for toys and stuff like that. Get stuff off the ground, gets it put away and uh, really kind of professional looking built-ins. So we're starting 
to get hardware on. We we found this really cool looking hardware. There are a whole bunch of different animal shapes, which will be really fitting for the girls' playroom. So I'm gonna get y'all set up, and uh, we'll get this hardware on. installed. Turned out really, really good. There you go. I still need, we're going to get hardware for the, uh, the lower cabinets too. Probably just some gold knobs. But I think it looks great. It really kind of sets it off. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, cabinets are complete, built-ins are done. Plan it out accordingly. Of course, you know, everyone's gonna have a different size room. Um, these, I picked these just because this is what was gonna fit, you know. Squeezed them in there, butcher block on top, coated that, got the shelves off of Amazon. Those are 30 inch shelves. I can link everything down in the bottom for y'all. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, write it down below. I'm pretty good at answering those because only, you know, 10 people have ever commented on my videos before. But um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this episode of Chasing Limits. I'm Chase, and uh, we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate it.